Hi, my name's John. Welcome to another Sunday night nightcap. Tonight's nightcap, I get some more work done on the vertical steam engine. I get the little brass oil as uh, finished to get them working. Do a little experiment to see how much oil I actually put through. I'll show you some of that. I do the draw for the little more and right depth gauge and the nice little scraper. Including the draw will also be a Starrett notepad and a Starrett drill chart size. These are kindly sent to us all the way from America from a gentleman called Brian Boucher. Anyway, Brian, thanks very much. My friends have already claimed two, so it means I've got three left to give away this week, next week, and the week after. I'll have to do the draw myself because basically there's, there's nobody here to do it. Devs is at work and Nick will be out of stick somewhere. Anyway, so I want to I wanna do the draw now. Find it. The one in the bottom somewhere. Right, there's the one. The name says Charles Sega. Right, Charles, all you have to do is email me your address and I'll get that in the post for you this week. My friend Bob was across uh, on Wednesday and he brought a, a nice little clock gauge in for us just to do a giveaway on. It's an old one, it's in real good condition. I'll show a close up of it. It's unusual to find something actually in its box as well. That's a nice little which works. That actually reverses the, the direction of movement. Very nice. Well, apart from being like I say, a nice a nice thing to look at in the own, it's practical, you can still use it. Once again, Bob, thanks very much for kindly donating that. You could have just put it in your drawer as well with all the other ones you've got, but you decided to give it away. As usual, if you want a chance of winning this, all you have to do is send me an email. That's the email address up there. Email contain your full name, as in John Mills, not just John. Your name goes into the bucket. If it's drawn out, I'll post it off to you anywhere in the world completely free of charge. It's just a little way to say thanks very much for all the help and support I've had. I mean I could just put this in the drawer with all the ones I've got but what's the point in that? You can really use so many um, so many nice things I suppose. So anyway, well worth entering, you know I know you might win. In the second part of tonight's nightcap I actually started a project for Deb. Um, it's going to be something to hang it in a new kitchen or in a living room above the, the wood burner. I think it'd be going to go above the wood burner. Um, anyway, it's a, I'm not going to tell you what it is, you left it watch part two and have a look anyway. I hope you enjoy this. It's, it's, uh, it's not going to take a great lot of doing and a lot of the work. Once again, my friend Bob's going to do some of the work for us, but I have got some some bits and pieces to do on it yourself. Anyway, I'm sure you'll find it an interesting project. I'm going to use brass for the oilers because I feel simply brass looks nice on the steam engine. I more or less know what I want and what size I need to be. I need them to be. I'm just going to make it up as I go along and get a shape that, get a shape that looks about right and the size that looks about right. be about an inch high, standing an inch high from the actual bearing, bearing cap. Just speed things up a little bit I think. This must be very decent quality brass, it's machined quite nicely.
time for a nice radius on this. Some of the diameter, not a lot. It's better I like that. You can get away with the big milling cutter. Put a nice flap on the rolling grass. That clock cage is just on, on the marble, it's stuck onto the tail stock. I think we're going to make the top of mountain for a few edges in the hand. I'm just going to drag that corner and I can part it off. Possibly that one as well. Rear the edge, stay very stately. I've turned it round, I've got a very light roll of it in the chuck, so I don't damage it. This needs to turn down to 10 mil to be a, a nice fit in the chair and top cap. in there now, supposed to be a nice tightish fit in there, make a push fit, with a little touch of Loctite on it. Fanny's here.
see it. I've cut a piece of uh, copper tube with the correct length. So basically that goes into there, level with the bottom and the wick goes in there, there, down through there and lies in the oil and instead of the oil just pissing straight through it slowly gets soaked up through the wick it's an old fashioned idea but it works so all I need to do now is swave that into there to make it a little bit tighter of a fit see what I can find to, to do that with right, I've got a nice cunning plan here Put that punch in the vase. That's down level with the end of there. Just put a nice little tip of centre punch. It should just swell the copper just nicely. Unless the punch gets stuck in the back, that's the of course. Right, so that's perfect it's got a nice a nice hole that will give no problems at all that's all it needs the temptation is to give it a bit more but I'm not going to at least not when the camera's running should be a nice push fit in there not too tight but just like that nice Try it on the engine, see what it actually looks like. And I think that looks quite nice, it'll have a little a little cap on it. That was a mark too. I made that one earlier. It would hold more oil, but it just didn't look right, it's too bulbous. But that one's just nice. Another one of them to make it. The little radius on the bottom, it's a little touch they got to make things look nice. That's what the Victorians did. They rounded things off to make them look nice. Unfortunately we live in a square age now. Right, next thing is to make a little, just a little cap with a push into there. A little scrap of brass here. That's going to be the outside dampener, just a little, a little lip so you can pull it off. And then we want the inside dampener, that to be a nice push in fit. actually 17 mil because it's a 17 mil reamer I used to open it out with. Fanny's hair is just about in. That's no lovely, maybe a straight, sleepy on the tight side.
perfect. I'm going to put a very small hole through there first, just a little vent hole. Judge the thickness of it, how thick I want the lid to be. Not this good at all. Still using the same tip that I did all the testing it on this tool and I'm only part of brass off here but it's doing a really good job.